Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a variable in Power BI with a simple example. This is the data set which I created for this video. You can see you have year and also the sales during this particular year. So I want to create a variable and use that variable to do a side-by-side -side comparison of sales across various periods. So as a first step, I created list. I need this list in my PBI visualization to use this in my variables. So I created a list one and list two, two sheets with columns, years, so, and I have named it as year two and year one. So let me load this to the PBI and then see how we can create a variable out of this data set. As you can see, I have loaded the data. You have the sales data and the two dummy tables, list one and list two, which I'm gonna use this in my variables. So let me go to the report and then let me add two slicer here. So slicer one, and let me pick this from list one, and the column name is year one. So this is my list one, and then let me create one more slicer, and bring my list two to this here. And in the properties, let me change this to single select on so that only one can be selected at a time. And here as well, single select on. Okay. So now I need to create a variable. So let me click on this table, sales. Okay. And create a new measure. Okay, let me call this measure as period one. One is equal to, let me create a variable and name it as variable P1 is equal to selected value from list year one. So I want to store this in this particular variable. And now I want to calculate the sum of sales for the year one return. Calculate expression is sum of sales from the sales table and filtering criteria sales here is equal to my variable P1. Hit enter. So this is my period one sales. So based on whatever I select in the period one, you get the total. So I want one more measure here. So add, so let me call this as period two is equal to, call it as variable name, B period two is equal to, I want the numbers from list two. Selected value from list two here. So whatever the selection you make is stored in the variable two. And then I want the sum of the sales for the selected year. Return, calculate expression is sum of 
sales bracket close filter is your year sales year is equal to we can underscore variable two hit enter so i created two measures here so now let me create a simple bar graph column chart okay so i want to make side by side comparison so let me bring this here period one and period two since i've selected both year 2001 and 2001 here you, you are getting the same chart let's suppose i want to make a comparison between let's say year 2010 and maybe five years later that is 2015 you can see the based on the variables the values change it's 45,000 and you have 65,000. So if someone wants to do a side-by-side -side comparison using a variable, this is how it can be done. This is the simplest way to use a variable. There are like other advanced techniques which I'll be showing in my later videos. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.